describing what will happen. Accurately, that's the key. Because what we have in today's society is this. People are doing what they are preaching, they are teaching, they're giving a word where, hope I'm not preaching, I'm trying to teach, out of their flesh. And when you keep giving a prophetic word out of your flesh, what does it end up at? It ends up in what? A familiar spirit. I have literally watched people prophesy out of their flesh, and then they move back into a familiar spirit, then after they get out of the familiar spirit, then they end up going back where? Into the flesh. Yeah. Amen? Let's go to the Word of God. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 4 and 5, it says this, and I'll be reading from the NIV. Then he says to me, prophesy to these dry bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. He says, I will make breath enter. Amen enter into you and you will come to life. So I prophesy as he commanded. Do you hear that? He says, I prophesy as he commanded and breath entered him. And then they came to life and they stood up on their feet a vast army. Mm. Ezekiel prophesied. Yeah. He said, I did everything that God told me to do. And when I did everything that God told me to do, those valley of dry bones, they began to what? They came to life. Hallelujah. So not only do they come to life, they stood up on their feet because he prophesied. So when you prophesy, you can allow dead things to begin to come to life. So when you are in a low place, when you are in a low position, all you've got to do is begin to speak an encouraging word. Oh my God, prophesy to somebody's life and they will come to life and they will begin to rejoice and praise God. They don't need nothing negative all the time. They need to be what? Encouraged. But a word of wisdom and a word of knowledge will bring correction to the church. That's right. Hallelujah. Let's go over some, some, direct, some definitions. Definition number one, profit seduction. What does that mean? That means when a prophet uses his mantle to seduce the body of Christ by intimidating them, getting them into bed, and also manipulating them out of money. Yes. Yes. And you've got to discern, is this God? Or is this a familiar spirit? Yes. But it's called prophet seduction. I've seen this so many times yes. as I've traveled and taught in so many churches. They use that mantle yes. to weak people. Number two, prophetic clues. What are prophetic clues? They are echoes. Yes. Confirmation. What is an echo? Hello, 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 hello. It brings what? That confirmation. Uh -huh. So we need God to confirm over and over and over again something that he said. They're called what? Prophetic clues. Yes. Sometimes if a prophet goes and tells you, you live in Virginia, he says it's time in three months you need to move to Africa. You better get another word from another prophet. Come on now. Don't have nobody Come jack your life up. Yeah, you better yeah, hear yeah, from yes, God Lord. yourself. Yes. Hear from God. Wait for another prophet, amen, to give you that same word. But do not go and tell that prophet what that other prophet said. Don't tell him all your business and then he decides to prophesy to Come you. on. Whoa. Come on now. Come Are on. you hearing me? Oh Number three, prophetic discernment. That's when you're able to discern sickness, mm -hmm. disease, and mental illness yeah. in a person. Now, this happened about two years ago at my church. I'm very careful, cautious of how I say things. And so I looked at this individual who I always prophesy in her life accurately. Did a lot of deliverance on her. And I said this to her. I said, do not be alarmed, but I bind MS out of your body in the name of Jesus. And That's she right. fell out. Yes. She didn't come back to the church. Uh -huh. I said, God, I don't understand what happened. Two months later, she texts me. She says, woman of God, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. The word that you gave me was, was true. My son has been going to the doctor, and my son has MS. Well, maybe what I said to you was correct. If your son has MS, you had it too, but what did I do? I bind that out of you. So this is where maturity comes in. 
You don't get scared when a prophet says there and say, I'm buying something out of your body. You have the faith to believe that prophet. He who receives a prophet because he is a prophet receives that prophet reward. You were healed and you were delivered and you were set free by the power of the blood of Jesus.